Hey guys, I just want to make a video letting you guys know all of the things that I learned during my internal monologue research. So my journey started um, in 2020, I believe. Um, and that's when I saw a tweet that said that not everyone has an internal monologue. So I put a poll on my Instagram and it turns out that not everyone that followed me had an internal monologue. There was like 17% or something that did not. Um, so then I wrote an article about it and it went very viral on Facebook. It blew a lot of people's mind because most people at that time had no idea that this was a thing. Everyone just thought that they walked around with an internal monologue in their head um, and that that was just a universal part of life. Um, so to find out that that's not how everyone thinks, it kind of blew people's minds, including myself. So I made that video where I was interviewing someone that did not have an internal monologue. Um, I asked a bunch of questions that people had, that I had. Um, people were very angry at me because they felt like I was belittling her um, when I was just surprised. Um, she's a close friend of mine. Um, she did not feel belittled whatsoever. So as time passed, I kind of learned a lot more. Um, Dr. Hurlbert reached out to me to partake in his research. So I did that and I made a lot of videos of me documenting how that worked. Um, so just a quick recap, what that entailed was I would wear a beeper in my ear and at random points of the day it would beep um, and I'd have to write down what I was thinking and how I was thinking. Um, if you watch some of those videos, it's hard to do because when you first start on the first day, you're thinking about how you would explain your thoughts the whole time. So when the thing beeps, that's all you're thinking So about. I'm gonna be using the beeper for the first time today. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm watching Survivor, um, a show that was very popular in the early 2000s. It's still very good if you don't watch it, all right? We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to be as transparent as possible, uh, unless it's gonna affect future jobs. The beeper hasn't gone off yet but I have noticed that I've been like conscious of it. So like, I'm like trying to avoid thoughts that I wouldn't want to talk about on camera. I need to like figure out how to just like live my life normally without realizing that I'm being part of an experience. But it got easier as time went on and um, I got to watch Dr. Hurlbert deconstruct my thoughts. Sorry, my neighbor's dog is barking. I had to come inside. So during this process, I learned a lot about myself and how people think. So it's not just one way of thinking. You don't just have an internal monologue or you don't. Sometimes you're using it, sometimes you're not. Um, there's a bunch of different ways that you could think. According to the research, there's about five different ways that you can think and you interchange them and you can use them together and in different ways. So the main five ways are one, internal monologue um, or inner speech. Um, but then there's visual. Um, some people can taste thoughts. For example, if they want a hot dog, they can taste the ketchup and mustard. Um, some people feel things um, where it's a physical feeling. Um, and then there's something called unsymbolized thinking where you don't feel anything, you don't see anything, you don't say anything, you just kind of know it. Um, that's hard to explain, but I made some videos kind of explaining how that works. And the guy responded, no, I didn't get an x-ray. And it beeped when I was watching him demonstrate where he hurt his ribs. And I thought, not in words, I just kind of knew it, that like some people may not understand, like they not may not be medically literate. And like you shouldn't take their word for what they say because... So now I feel, well, I can, I can use this word unsymbolized thinking, and it's, it's not going to screw Ryan up because Ryan's pretty good at this, at this stuff. So what we mean when we say unsymbolized thinking is a pretty clear thought that, is, that does not have words and does not have visual imagery and does not have any other symbols, which is why we call it unsymbolized. And yet it's clearly before the footlights of consciousness. This is not just a gist. It, it wasn't like there was some gist that Ryan was saying, well, you know, people don't, people are, are medically illiterate or whatever. This was a specific 
before the footlights of consciousness experience. And that is what unsymbolized thinking is for us. Unsymb our technical term is it's a, it's a directly experience, quite specific, well differentiated before the footlights of consciousness experience. Doing Dr. Hurlburt's research was good. Um, it allowed me to learn a lot about how I was thinking. Um, I was able to almost organize my thoughts into different categories, and that can help in certain situations, um, which I loved. I felt like I could organize my mind. It was almost therapeutic doing his research. If I had some critiques of it, um, I think it's difficult to capture your thoughts in a quick moment and have to write them down. Um, because they can be so abstract and there could be so many things going on at once that it's hard to accurately just describe it to someone, especially 24 hours later, um, which is what he wanted to do. Um, so that's the one feedback I would have about that research is that I think some of it uh, can be not the most accurate descriptions because of how long that it took for me to actually have to remember and talk about it. All in all, um, we're all unique. We all think different. Uh, we all describe our thoughts differently. Some people may think that they don't have an internal monologue when they actually do. Um, some people may think they have one when they actually don't. Um, so all in all, I'm a lot less mind blown than I was when I started this journey. Um, I appreciate the support from everyone. Uh, so much feedback and it's awesome. So I appreciate it. Hopefully we can keep making these videos and learn a lot more about uh, this cool phenomenon. Hey, Bear.